Damn it, another jungle map. Don't get me wrong, these forests look awesome, but they are also really laggy. They should have put that in the trailer. First, they will melt your heart, then your GPU. Also, until recently, all markers on the survivor's map were offset, so you could kiss your base location goodbye. I know it's no longer a thing, but it still wasn't fixed on wiki, so... Lost Island is massive, it takes years to move around before you get a mailing. And yes, I know that size isn't always a bad thing, but since we're gonna be incurable assholes in this video, I'm counting that as a downside. No, I'm not being jealous. Snow rocks, despite being white on the outside when broken, revealed to have a mossy rock texture on the inside. This map struggles with the same issue as Genesis Part 2, bad spawn decisions. Gentoo added a slow-ass canoe to a map that has a literal living rocket aka the Maywing, which can be tamed before you even have enough resources to craft a canoe. Only Lost Island takes it a step further and adds Managamas and Snarls, which are both great travelling mounts, only to fill the grasslands with Maywings, making the other two travellers really bad for travelling. Travel issues. Also, remember how there were sloped rivers and waterfalls on Gen 2 similar to those from missions but you couldn't actually use canoes on them? Lost Island does the exact same thing, only with more rivers and waterfalls. Why do these ruins always have to come in sizes that can't be recreated with structures? It makes filling them with foundations an absolute pain, because there's always going to be a gap. Just make it so they match the size of foundations and spare us the suffering! One can be easily deceived by the snow trench's casual look, because it opens on one side you can just wander in during your morning walk and suddenly there's a hundred wivens biting your ass off. And talking about trenches, they are everywhere! Whoever designed Lost Island must have fallen down some deep hole when they were little and now wants us to know their pain. Plus I'm pretty sure you shouldn't be able to see through the mesh like that, but who am I to judge? <laughs> oh, right. This cave entrance is a Maywing death trap. Once you fall inside you can't glide and can only sit back and await death. What I'm trying to say is this map is a dick to Maywings. Also, good luck finding the other entrance you want. Oh, look at that! Another labyrinth cave. Here we go again. Let me just find something small and cute. This map is obsessed with putting caves behind waterfalls. It's the same thing as with chips. From time to time it's nice to find a pack you thought had already been emptied just to see a few chips at the bottom, but once these empty packs start to pile up you will find yourself obsessively going over them each time you see one in search of leftovers. Screw Fedelites, Shinehorns and Otters. I hope you love leeches because on Lost Island they will become your new best friend. Fungal wood spawns at the bottom of the freaking ocean! Cinemacropses are the cutest jump scares. Sometimes they will just randomly fly up to you, take a bite and then just piss off. Also, they really don't get along with insects, so it may be time to let your inner insectophobe take over and yeet your creepy crawlers down the drain. And they may just have the most annoying taming method in all of Ark. You have to approach them slowly and on foot, but they spawn in two places. The swampy jungle filled with leeches, capros and titanoboas, and the desert filled with terror birds, scorpions and wolves. Take your pick. Not to mention that they are near impossible to tame in these dense forests. If they flee from you once, finding them will be equivalent to finding your faith in humanity after watching this video. Moving on to Dinopithecae. Their fur is a lag generator. Whenever you look at them, you're making a step towards your PC suicide. What is that smell? Wait, is that fire? No, 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 no! Oh, fuck! Oh, god dang it! Oh, that's... That's, that's, that's not, not good at all. Even the devs knew this, but instead of fixing it, decided to just hide the fur when you're far enough away, creating these monstrosities. You can now speedrun your YouTube demonetization in a new creative way. You can't spyglass shit from a Dinopithecus back, as you will always end up sniffing its fur. And because it always turns in the direction where you're looking, there's just no escaping from this. Also, who in the world thought it's a good idea to give this creature a second long animation when it takes damage, which not only locks it in place, making it very hard to escape from things, but also stops the ground slam attack, meaning you can't slam targets that attack faster than you, such as raptors or humans with melee weapons. Where's the logic here? So boss, what we taking on the monkey hunt? Ahead, they be dangerous. How about a mech? No, that's too much. Well, then maybe a railgun. Nope. A bazooka? No, of course not. A shotgun? No! Well, then all that's left is this hatchet. That's the stuff! Laws of physics? Never heard of them. Let's have Dinopithecai hit deathworms through the mesh. The only reason this hasn't broken the early game yet is because no one knows about it. I mean, <laughs> now you do. Go wreck havoc, my pretties! Here's a fun riddle. How drunk does a sailor need to be to sail their ship inside a cave like this? The answer is clearly more than I am. 
I mean, look, look, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm holding W. I'm trying. No, maybe yes. Yeah. No. 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 Maybe. Oh. No. No. It just. It just doesn't fit. Just no, it just doesn't fit. It just does not fit. The Amargazora skin looks like it was made out of clay. It's weirdly smooth and the shadows are off. Compare it to this Bronto. The reflections are different and the spiky boy ends up looking like it was stolen from a low budget mobile game. Oh god, imagine if that was a thing. <laughs> Wait, it is? The boss design is cool, but also really lazy. Someone on the dev team said, hey, remember how we did the Crystal Women Queen? Let's do that again. And the idea somehow passed. Screw new bosses, we want more reskins. And that about concludes my list. Let me know what annoys you about Lost Island down below. Also, I hope you didn't enjoy this video. If you did, why? Like, why would you willingly watch this? But <laughs> if you are among these rare few who enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing. Videos like this one take forever to make. That's longer than we've been waiting for ARC 2. So if you want to support me, give it a sub, give it a like. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video.